Welcome back, Beck Warriors. This is Old Bob 10025 with five more tips and tricks for Mech Warrior 5 mercenaries. Tip number one get rid of jump jets in your AI mechs as you will have a better chance if Word of Blake wanted to sit down and have tea with you than have your AI pot use them effectively in combat. These extra tons can be used for more armor, heat sinks, or the special love tap you want to upgrade from an AC2 to an AC5. Generally, everybody, when the A, I've only seen once in the whole game system, that was in the beta, where actually a uh, AI bot used the jump sets themselves. Just get rid of them for your for your AI max, dump it, and get an extra half ton of ammo. Get an extra heat sink, max out your armor. Do something else with those jump jets because they do not use them whatsoever. Definitely do that, guys. It'll save you a lot of tonnage on your mechs themselves for your AI bots. Tip number two, you can access all controls of your work company by hitting the tab button while you're mining your mechs from the mech bay of the Leopard dropship. Generally, all you gotta do is hit tab and it automatically goes to whatever type of UI panel you would go ahead and have, barracks, market, contract, star map, everything you wanna do. You don't have to run over to a console. You don't have to run up here and talk to her where she's boring as hell. You can just go ahead and hit the tab button, boom, you got everything, you don't have to leave your mech bay. Tip number three, there is no reason to do a single player mission or a campaign, just always play co-op and continue your campaign from there. This way, if you're in a single player option of a campaign and a friend wants to join you of some mecha fun, you don't have to save, go to go to title screen, then go to co-op, then add your friend, just always play in co-op. What happens is if you're in single player, you can't actually access your friends to go ahead and invite them, so they're all gonna be non, non invitable Just go to co-op here, and then continue your campaign from here. Now, I don't know why they even added this in, but hey, whatever. Co-op, and then continue and do whatever you gotta do. So that way you just go ahead and add your friends anytime you want to, don't have to come back title screen, don't have to reboot your game. They'll save you a lot more time in the long run. Tip number four. If you're not using a mech in your mech bay, you can always put that mech in cold storage to minimize the maintenance cost. Having that cool black knight looks great on your screen, but losing the 70k per maintenance period, you can be using that to help out your upkeep for your rest of your lance and save a lot of sea bills. Generally, guys, if you're not actually using these these bays or the mechs themselves, or don't really, you know, you're kind of iffy on it, like this awesome, this black knight costs 70,000 each. That's 140,000 if I would have kept them in there, just go and have. Doesn't take much to go put them in there and then go and upgrade or, or go and like add them out and get, and then put them in there. It just it, I would recommend just put in cold storage and unless you really do need these mechs or want to go use them for a, spe for a specific type of mission or contract or whatever. Just, just get a lance of mechs you always loot, use. A second lance, kind of medium mechs to fill in the different spots in case you have your tonnage. Kind of iffy there. And then one or two lights, you know, just to pop in there to go ahead and add in just in case you need an extra fourth pilot. Definitely put them in cold storage if you don't need them. Tip number five. Follow the letter of the contract like a lawyer. There is no point in sticking around to an assassinate mission after you kill the target and will only get your pilot skilled or have a hefty seable cost of repairing your mechs because you want it to look good on the field of battle. Just get in, get out. This also applies to war zones. As war zones contracts, you just have to kill a number of enemies, then bugger out, but you can stay and get some extra sea bills per enemy you destroy. Only stay if your contract damage coverage is so high you don't really care if your mech gets torn to shreds as it's covered with the contract. What this means is do your contract to the letter. Get in, get out. There's no point in staying around and getting such damage on your mech. You might lose a pilot. You might lose that mech. It's going to cost you so much in sea builds to go repair those things. Sometimes on a bad mission and I lose one or two mechs, it costs me like three, four million to go and get those fixed. And that's in a war zone. So I, I, if I want to stick in and do a couple more missions inside there, it's going to cost me an arm and a leg and sea build cost. Just make sure if you use and doing a war zone and you have really high coverage, that's 899,000. That's generally one mech to maybe two mechs kind of destroyed. You can go and cover that and not have to worry about it. But in, in general though, assassinate the mech, get in. Raid, do the mission, kill everything, get out. Um, demolition, run through the buildings, get out. You don't have to stay in. It does help your pilots just a tiny bit, but it's not worth it though in Seville cost. And that has been five more tips for MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. I do appreciate you watching. Check out the Patreon page when you want to go ahead and support the channel. All links are down below. Check out Twitter to see what's going on in Old Bob's world. And then also 
check out Twitch. I also do a lot of streaming for different types of games and also MechWarrior related type stuff. Also, the First Circuit Podcast is on every other Monday morning at 4 a.m. Check that out as well. All the links will be down below. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the battlefield. Mm-hmm.